um, program is goes back to the Skeptics Toolbox. It's it's something of tribute to the Skeptics Toolbox, which is where Oregonians for Science and Reason first originated, and where many of us uh, first met and built wonderful friendships, and also that built a lot of leadership in the uh, skeptics movement. Uh, Harriet Hall, better known as Skeptoc, um, Susan Gerbic, um, our organization, Herd Masters, who could not be here today because uh, the toolbox launched him on a science quest and he is in Brazil for the Exploratorium setting up an exhibit and was very disappointed that he couldn't join us. And many others um, who uh, built the skeptics movement were very influenced by Ray Hyman's uh, skeptics toolbox. Mm. Oregonians for Science and Reason is a 501c3, so donations made to uh, OFRSR, as we call ourselves, are uh, tax deductible, and we are able to take credit cards if you want to make a donation. We also, if you would like to join us, we have some membership forms out front, and we certainly welcome you uh, into the Scientific Skeptics Movement. A number of things that Oregonians for Science and Reason does is speakers and workshops and events like this. We also donate a Skeptical Inquire to 10 uh, state libraries, local libraries, county libraries in low income areas. And uh, we have uh, the Jerry Andrus Project, in which we are working to keep Jerry Andrus's life work saved and alive. And we've got to compliment. Uh, Susan Gerbic has been working on scanning documents and pictures on that project, but there's other work going on there. And another thing that we do is we provide student and young professional scholarships to SciCon, which is the National Skeptics Conference in Las Vegas, which will be happening again this year. There's lots of information on this. Jim will talk more about it. It's uh, at the Flamingo on, um, why don't I see the date jumping out at me? Week before October Halloween. October 20 to 23rd this year, and we will be uh, taking scholarship applications from students and young professionals. And it's, it's a competitive scholarship, so you put in an application and then we select uh, whatever uh, one or two um, uh, individuals to whom we award the scholarship. And we have made a point to make that scholarship something that students can actually use. So it's not just a reduced price to get into the conference. We make sure that the travel, the lodging, uh, some food allegation, uh, allocation, uh, and the conference are all covered for the students. So if you know somebody, if you are a college professor or you have students or know students who might qualify, have them get uh, in touch with us and uh, we will get them an application form. And I think those applications this year are going to be due uh, shortly after September 11th. So we'll be cutting it fairly close um, from the time of the conference. But that is because school starts in September. And if we cut it shorter than that, they would not, students would not have an opportunity to hear. I really want to thank the speakers who have volunteered to be part of this conference, and I, I cannot thank them enough for, for their volunteer. And I also, yes. And I would, I would like to point out, uh, we have two board members who are here today, uh, James 
and James and the amazing Chris Martin are both on our board of directors. And I'd also like to thank uh, the volunteers that have helped put stuff together today. Um, oh, yeah. so, Ralph Pletcher is on AB. Um, Dana Price helped set up. Chris and her daughters Morgan and Grace helped in the kitchen. Jane is at the uh, registration table. And Jay and Ron and Larry with um, and Susan with uh, recording this. So I'm going to turn it over to Jim Underdown from the Center for Inquiry, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about SciCon and also introduce our speakers and be our MC for the day. So thank you, Denise. Yeah, she's amazing. We really want this to be a COVID-free event. So we encourage that people uh, have multi-layers of safety, including wearing, uh, if you need an N95 mask, we have N95 masks out front. We have added ventilation thanks to Effie Greathouse, who could not be here because she's in Vermont with COVID, um, who, and had canceled as one of our speakers, but her husband was kind enough to bring uh, the ventilation boxes, and we really thank them, but uh, we'll do what we can to uh, keep us safe, so use the hand wash, and wear your masks, and stay safe. Thank you. Jim, Jim, Jim. I am wearing my mask. <laughs> I don't mean to diminish it. I, 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 I oh. fully subscribe to all the science-based precautions. I'm quad-vaxxed, and uh, my wife and I had it six weeks ago um, and made it through. So, uh, and I've had flu shots and shingle shots Me too. in the last year. So. Me too. I feel like a pincushion. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone. Thanks to Oregonians for Science and Reason for sponsoring this. I'm Jim Underdown. I'm the Executive Director of the Center for Inquiry West in Los Angeles. And I'm also the Chair and Founder of the uh, Center for Inquiry Investigations Group, which is well into its 22nd year now. And one of the reasons groups like us can exist is because of people like Ray Hyman and people who organized and ran and spoke at the Skeptics Toolboxes for so many years. There are some investigators of paranormal and other extraordinary claims that are sort of in the business for their own egos or self-aggrandizement or whatever. Ray and Lauren Pankratz and Jim Elcott and the late Barry Beierstein and Harriet Hall, people who have taught at the toolbox for decades, pass their great knowledge on to people like me and our groups and people like you so we can all go be ambassadors for science and reason into the general public. So. Really, I'm here to thank Ray. We came all, all the way up for Los, for Los Angeles. So thank you. The first thing, uh, one of the first people we talked to, when we started, we have a quarter million dollar prize, largest prize in the world, active, for anyone who could prove paranormal ability. Of course, the Randy million dollar prize was in existence for a long time. It's been dormant for every bit of 15 years now. We've tested more people than any other group in the world, and we field more applications than anyone in the world. Last year we fielded 256 applications for our prize. And believe me, that takes a lot of staff power just to deal with people and try to steer them in and figure out what the hell they're talking about and what they can do because 
<laughs> a lot of them don't communicate very well, <laughs> to say the least. A fair amount of them are mentally ill, and I don't say that facetiously. They actually exhibit clear signs of schizophrenia, uh, delusional behavior. And I don't say that as a layperson, I'm not a psychologist, but um, we have two psychologists and a psychiatrist who used to head the department at UCLA uh, who I've consulted with about these things. So um, turns out mental illness is the cause of a lot of uh, paranormal crimes. So I wanted to mention all that. I wanted to mention super briefly just the Center for Inquiry. We were traditionally the financial sponsor of the Skeptics Toolbox for all those years. And we do a lot of other things. A lot of, most of you, I'm sure, know about Skeptical Inquirer magazine, still putting out great stuff since 1976. Skeptical Inquirer has been around. We have a program called TIES, the Teachers Institute for Evolutionary Science. This helps teachers teach evolution. Uh, most of you probably know that in a lot of parts of this country, Teachers don't want to even mention the E-word. They get all kinds of static from uh, parents and PTAs and all. And you can imagine where this might happen, um, but it's prevalent. So uh, thanks to Richard Dawkins and uh, his great director who runs a program called uh, Bertha Vasquez, um, we are enabling teachers to better teach the science of evolution. So there's lots of things going on. Last but not least, uh, Janine mentioned, I don't want to keep harping on this, but this year's SciCon, we haven't done it in two years uh, because of COVID, obviously. Uh, it's going to be great. Neil deGrasse Tyson's going to be there. Richard Dawkins is going to be there. Penn and Teller. Piff! The Magic Dragon. Uh, Julia Sweeney. Naomi, Naomi Oriskes. As, uh, and just, I mean, the lineup is just stellar. So if you can make it, and it's lots of fun, we're going to be doing a big party on uh, Saturday night, and that's always a lot of fun too. So um, please come check that out if you're uh, able to.